Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's interview. Today, I'm sitting down with NASCAR driver Joey Gase. Joey, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on. Awesome. Um, I guess jumping into it first, Joey, um, how did you first get into racing? Uh, I got into racing because of my dad. He uh, he raced at the local short track level at Hawkeye Down Speedway, and ever since I can remember, I loved uh, going to the track with them and, and loved working with them in the garage and uh, Ever since I can remember, I loved racing. Awesome. Um, like myself, a lot of uh, race fans first noticed you when you had your uh, your fifth place finish at Talladega in 2015. Uh, as a fan, I've always seen certain tracks as opportunities for the smaller teams. As a driver, is there an added pressure when you visit a place like a Talladega or a Daytona, or is it really just business as usual? Uh, yeah, I would say there's probably definitely a little more added pressure because, uh, you know, and, and everyone else knows that you should have more of, of a chance to running well when you're on a small team, uh, when you go there. So, um, I'd say you, you definitely put a little more pressure on yourself and, and at the same time, you know, you have, you're more likely the, the run better, but at the same time, you're, you're more likely to get in the big one as is everyone. So it's, uh, it's a, it's a big game on trying to put yourself in the, the right position. Yeah, I guess there is that gamble of, you know, normally it's like, all right, maybe we can finish top 20, have our car intact, or maybe we'll win. Maybe our car will be completely destroyed, hanging in a fence yep. somewhere. <laughs> um, uh, Donate Life has been a huge supporter of yours. How did that relationship first begin? And what's it like when you, you get to be like an ambassador and have a sponsor for something that's so important to you? Uh, you know, it's a great, like you said, it's something that's really important to me. So it's, uh, it's something that's uh, easy to promote and it's something that I want to promote and, and I'm passionate about. But, uh, you know, it's, I got into it because of my mom, uh, Mary, she passed away of a uh, sudden brain aneurysm in, in 2011. And when that happened, the doctors asked us, does she like to be an organized tissue donor? Um, at that time, it was something we never really uh, talked about a lot, but we knew she could no longer continue her life. She wanted to do whatever she could to help others continue theirs. So uh, we said yes, and uh, later we went home and, and found her driver's license and saw that she was a registered donor. So uh, when we saw that, you know, it made a huge difference knowing that we did what she would have wanted. And, and ever since then, wanted to promote donation and, and honor all those affected by it. And, and not only get people to register, but also get those people to talk with their loved ones as well. Yeah, that, that's awesome. I, I feel like it's uh, with with uh, y'all's story and as well as with like Davey's story with the special they did, I believe, last year, a couple of years ago. I feel like it just kind of gave a lot of information to race fans to kind of be like, here's why this is important and here's why this decision can impact a lot of lives. Um, for, for your racing career, do you have a racing moment or two that stand out as your favorite? Uh, you know, when we got fifth at Talladega, that was definitely uh, really special. Um, when my one of my first race back after my mom passed, that was really cool. And then um, also when we uh, my first Daytona 500 uh, started, and that whole week was uh, was a really special week because mm -hmm. we we had a good run not only in the 500 but also on the Xfinity side as well that same weekend. It's awesome. Um, and finally, what advice would you give to younger drivers looking to get into the sport? Uh, you know, never the never to give up, but also to uh, the start. You know, uh, at a loc at your local track in the lower division, and uh, even if even if you're not racing, just go out to the racetrack, and every team out there is looking for more help. So, uh, you know, go see if you can help uh, those guys, and by helping. Then you're also helping yourself by making connections and then also learning, um, you know, more about the cars, the mechanics and, and how everything works. Awesome. Well, Joey, thanks so much for taking some time out of your busy schedule to join us today and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Okay. Well, thank you so much for having me on.